Do it, 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 Hey everyone, in today's new episode, let's go over the first time Anakin Skywalker built his very first lightsaber. So in the Now Legends comic Star Wars Jedi Quest, which was made back in 2001, just four years before Revenge of the Sith came out, and one year before Episode 2, we get to see Anakin and Obi-Wan in their most youthful of years since The Phantom Menace. Qui-Gon has died, and the Jedi Council have allowed Anakin to be trained by Obi-Wan. As they arrive on the planet Ilum, Obi-Wan leads Anakin atop a massive ice cliff where they enter a cave leading to the Crystal Center. As Obi-Wan stands before the cave, he tells Anakin that inside he will find the crystals growing naturally. However, he will have to pass certain tests through visions. Some of them will frighten him, some will be drawn from his past that are taken from his deepest fears. However, he must face these tests in order to earn his lightsaber crystal. As Obi-Wan gives Anakin the hilt that he worked on and the other components to put it together, he tells him that once he finds the crystals, he will make his lightsaber to his will, telling him that some Jedi take days, even weeks, to find the crystal that speaks to them. As Anakin walks through the cave, he sees himself as he was on Tatooine, a young boy, a slave, when his attention is taken to his feet as they are now dripping in blood, when his mother runs to him screaming for help as a monster grabs her. Now this monster kind of looks like the same one that's in the story and his name is actually Crane. I did a video covering him and it's titled Anakin's First Kill with his first lightsaber, so I can either re-upload that one or link it at the end here just for your convenience. As Anakin yells at him that he'll kill him and sends a shockwave of force energy to make the vision disappear, he notices this is the crystals around him glowing. As he sees Obi-Wan, or what he believes is Obi-Wan, tell him that it's time to go it's in a trance-like state. As he picks a crystal, Obi-Wan tells him to cleanse his mind, and only then will his feelings guide his intent. Anakin lays the lightsaber pieces before him. Did I startle you? Looking up to see Darth Maul before him in the flesh. Perhaps you need to work on those Jedi reflexes. You're almost as clumsy as Qui-Gon Jinn. As Darth Maul taunts Anakin, smashing his training lightsaber to the wall and giving him his new real one, clearly which the Force built at his intent, but the vision makes him see otherwise, Darth Maul continues to tell him to give in to fear and his hatred, that he can feel his anger towards the Sith Assassin. He beckons for Anakin to proceed with his intentions, as he says, I gutted your friend like an animal. As the two fight to the death, Darth Maul tells him that anger gives him power. It gives him focus to use it, as Anakin tells him that he is a Jedi and that he will let go of his anger. There are other ways to power, as Maul tells him. Anakin says that it's not power that he seeks. Then you lie! How else will you save your poor mother you abandoned if you do not have power? As Anakin slashes through Maul, he is reminded that this is all just a vision. When he is slammed backwards by Maul's force push, Anakin tells him that he created him and he can also make him go away. When Maul retreats into the shadows and whispers, But I will return. I've been looking for you, Obi-Wan says. As young Skywalker asks him whether or not he's real, clearly still suffering from the visions and nightmares that he had, Obi-Wan looks at his new lightsaber that he built while entranced. As Anakin tells him, he had many visions, and one of them was Obi-Wan telling him to enter a trance-like state. As his master tells him that when he allows his instincts to take over, they will never fail him. The Force is always with you. At this moment, they get a call from the Jedi Council. A mission is awaiting them on Coruscant. That ends the first issue. I can cover the next ones if you guys so wish, so just let me know down below by hitting like or commenting. What I really like here is how Obi-Wan tells Anakin to always trust his instincts, but I don't think Anakin should have done that when he was against Palpatine and Mace Windu. Now something I also want to bring your attention to is when Anakin has the vision, it's Darth Maul telling him that he is the master that he always wanted and that he will return. Now this isn't to say that Darth Maul will return, but rather it's just a metaphor saying that the dark side within Anakin will return. And of course, as we saw, it did. Maybe Disney will cover this story someday for their new canon, but until then, we have these awesome Legends ones for our amusement, and I hope I can bring them to life for you. Thanks for watching everyone, until the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Remember, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, The Force will be with you, always.